morning and welcome to the Shack Shack. Save happy and creative, stay home and craft. My name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK and today looks like a perfect day to hang out, do a bit of colouring and just keep each other company. Come on in. Jilly's in the building with you and she'll be answering any of the questions that you have. And other than that, Paul is on the telly. So if you've got two screens at 10 o'clock, he's going live with Linda Williams' wonderful uh, groovy plates, the flower and lace plates. Didn't they do well yesterday? Oh, yeah, they did indeed. Uh, I was up there. I did the launch. Got home about 11 o'clock last night. Thanks, Jilly. The sound is OK, she tells me. Yeah, so I got home at about 11 o'clock last night. And David, uh, Dave got, got us a pizza. So, you know, ask me how the diet's going. <laughs> pizza at 11 o'clock at night. I was so hungry. And because there were issues with the, with the, um, with the server uh, on television yesterday, everything was up in the air, whether we were going to go live or not. And, and then right at the last minute, it went, it was fine. Um, isn't that Dan Bancroft, a lovely presenter? I do like working with him. So it was fun. And at 10 o'clock, Paul's on. Everything's back in place. Everything's safe and sound and robust. So hopefully the gremlins are out of the building. And no, I didn't say gremlins. I said gremlins. <laughs> Cheers. Come on in. I, I can't find my glasses. I'm guessing that they're, um, <laughs> they're at Ho-Chanda at Create and Craft. What I do have is lots of boxes, but... Pat the lunette. So um, I've got these for close up, but then far away, see, I can't see a thing unless I literally kiss the screen. So I can see there's movement. So I'm expecting there's a few of us here. Mm, my guess is that many of you will be, well, you won't know because you can't hear me because you're on the other channel, but many people will be um, watching Paul uh, on telly and that's fine. So we'll hang out. My guess is that you watched last night and we'll see if, if we're, if we're a, a, a greatly reduced number today. That's OK. We're going to be colouring in the hair together. I've got some tricks and tips that I want to show you. Many of you that have been with me in the shack since the beginning, um, you'll remember the stippling and the different shading and the resist. But many of you maybe don't know the tricks. So, and there's no harm in repeating ourselves, is there? Come on in. Cool, I'm tired today, though. I'm tired today. Don't ping back like I used to. Hey. Well, come on. Let's have a look. Shall we have a look what we're going to do while you're coming in? I really, I hate it when I can't find my long distance glasses because normally I can glance and I can see what you're saying. Can't see anything. I can see recording Paul. See if you focus. Are your eyes as good as mine? Shocking, isn't it? Hooray. No, morning, not hooray. <laughs> I'm 63 on Sunday. This is what happens to 63-year-olds. Got 73 to look forward to if I'm very, very lucky. And 64 and 65. Yeah, got to be grateful. Got to be grateful, haven't we? You know, and if my eyes are packing up, well, that's why we have strong glasses, hey? So we're going to do some, the, the good news is I've got the, the close-up ones, an abundance of them. <laughs> so come on in and let's have a look. Yeah, Paul's on now. Have you got two screens? How many of you have got Paul on the telly and you're, you've got me on your phone? Or maybe the other way around? Well, whichever way round you're doing this, Let's get started, shall we? Um, we were going to colour in the hairs. Should we have a look? Are you ready? I feel like I want to travel gently today. Like, oh. one of the cats isn't very well either. Don't know what he ate. Ragnar, feeling little. He hasn't eaten for a couple of days now. He was looking a bit better this morning. I think he's got something in his throat. So we gave him some fishy, oily fish. See if that helps. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. It's like having children again. Right, let's have a look. Are they the right way around? <laughs> These are the things that we're colouring in. Our Woodland Creatures Colouring Art Pack. Beautiful. And we're working on the March hairs, aren't we? But when we step away from this, you can see, of course, um, we've got included in the pack, the, there's a colouring inspiration. 
And so this has been coloured by Dee, Dee Paramore. The artwork's by Mel Turner, original artwork. Very, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful artwork. Check that out. Isn't that stunning? Right, look. Very lovely. So you receive one of these in the pack. I reckon that most of you will probably already have this. And then we get our A4. And the line art isn't too thick, isn't too cartoony. See, it's quite fine, but it's very much there. Um, you get one of each of the pictures in this size. Just to recap, you get um, one a sheet of the pictures in this size. So A5 of each one. And then you get the postcard ones as well. So you get four like that. Um, and I've got at the back, I've got what we are working on, what we are working on. That's the one we're working on. And that's the one that I've I've done thus far. Still not complete, but it's, it's um, something to work towards, isn't it? And, of course, the colouring. Let me see if I can come in a little bit closer for you. The colouring or the splash of colour, if you will. Do you remember a couple of weeks ago, we were, this was a nice one, where we, we played that, we, we tried that trick with the cotton wool buds. And um, didn't that come out lovely? So you can always watch that one on Rewind or on, uh, on YouTube. It's recorded. And, and the way that we've done the background on this one is exactly the same. So if I come into this particular See, if I come up close, you can see the splash. I'm going to intensify that, though. I, have, I just haven't made it very dark yet. What we've been concentrating, what we were concentrating on on Monday is the, the depth of the trees. So if I just slide this tree down, you'll see on this one, the trees all, they all weave into each other. And when we look at the one that I've done, hang on, go that way, you can see that we, we established which tree was where, which tree was behind, which tree was in front. And then actually what we did together, what we did together was we did a comparison. We did a comparative one where this one has got the shade on both sides of the tree. So the light is almost coming from the front. On this one, we just did the shadow on one side of the tree and the light is coming in from that side. So just different different techniques. It's entirely up to you. But this is something that we're going to, this is the finishing trick. We'll get to that again today, I hope. But I wanted to just work with you on the hair. Do you fancy doing that? Let's have a look at a large version of what Dee did on the hair, just to give you an idea. See, there's one in the background as well. See the hair in the background? Okay. Well, let's do something different. Let's do something different. So, so if you look at my hair on here, you see, I don't know if you can see the stippling. Now, let me stand up and I've got more. Right, there you go. So I'm bringing it up. I'm bring, it's easier for me to bring it up to the camera than bring the camera down to the, there. See the stippling on it? So I was thinking we could have a look at that. And then I thought, we've done this before. Where have we done it? So then I went to our feathered friends. Do you remember the postcards that we we start? We did these for two years in the shack, and we will come back to them as well. Didn't we do some fabulous um, artwork? Do you remember the? See what's interesting is is what you make of something that isn't necessarily there. So that's that was that's the postcard with the nut hatches, but then when we look at it, look, we turned it into a silver um, birch. But it didn't have to be, did it? But wasn't that interesting how we turned something that neutral into a definite silver birch? And and I know that Dee did the same thing, you see, all with colour. The shape is there. Right, so that was the... But I was thinking more along the lines of um, not so much that one. This was quite cool, the cockerels. With the dot dot dash along, I loved I love that sort of speckled hen. It was the speckled hen that gave me the idea with that one, but this was the one I wanted to show you. Isn't that glorious? With the um, the hummingbird, look the colibri, negative color where you go into the background and and the black brings it. I never finished mine, um, but I know lots of you did. I didn't finish mine, but just by look when you look at that lovely flower. 
And then when we did the shading in the background, isn't that nice. Yeah, it's interesting what you can do with colouring. This is the one I wanted to show you. I think this was the one that really shows off the stand up grey. This is the one that really shows off the the stippling. Let it focus. See when I come in close. Do you see how? See the the that dot 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 stippling. It's good, isn't it? Check out those eyes. Cool. You wouldn't want to run into him in the alley, would you? Look. <laughs> hey, that one in the middle. If he had a baseball cap on, I know what it would say on the front. <laughs> expletive yeah and then you got that little fella down the bottom he's like well yeah no room for me on the perch well let's leave that one out and so that we can we can refer to him them when we look at the different colors oh did i actually write the cut yes happy days oh that my friends is a result yeah it's always good when you do some coloring to write what you used on the back, Dick Brown. It's not Dick Brown. It's Dick Van Dyke or Dyke Van Dick or something. 176. Raw umber, warm grey four, cream, cold grey. Right. Result. Okay. That's good to know. Okay. Happy days. Right. So we're going to do the, the, the hairs. Oh. Pat says she's more confident with colouring, thanks to you. Is that is that Pat Hoskins or which Pat? I'm glad to hear it, Pat. I think I am too, thanks to the shack. So that's thanks to you. You see, it swings in roundabouts. I think that's that's it, isn't it? You know, the more you do, like our friend Elizabeth says, the more you do, the better you get. The better you get the more you want to do. And really, that's the same with Groovy too, isn't it? You know, the more you do, the better you get. Um, and uh, and I know it takes time. It doesn't only take time to create something in parchment art or colouring like this, but it also, it takes time, it takes time, especially with parchment, to learn the skills to do the job, you know. But like Pat says, Pat Coombs. Thank you, Pat. Um, the more you do, the better you get. The better you get, the more you want to do. And I like hanging out with my mates on a Monday and a Thursday in the shack. We do do some nice stuff, don't we? So let's have a little recap on this particular trick. OK, so what we're going to do Believe it or not, the first thing we're going to do is take a white pencil. So you can use a white polychromo, you can use a white uh, pergoliner, right? And we're going to use a white pencil because this is going to give us a speckle. This is going to be like a, hang on, a speckled hair. Let's go in really tight so you can see better what I'm doing. Can, is that good? Is that good? 170 in the room. Good. So that means because normally there are about 200 of us. So there'll be at least 30 watching Paul. <laughs> cool. I was interested to know how this would go, that we were both running parallel, because um, it just gives us this information. You know, how many of our friends, I mean, I could ask you, but how many of you are parchers? And how many of you are more pencil people like, how many, how much of an overlap is there? You know, how many of you do both? How many of you are multitasking here? You know, it's interesting, isn't it? I like to think that we all do a little bit of everything. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, we're going to put, we're going to start with the nose like that. Start with the nose and we're going to flick down and we'll do the whole, start up here, right? And underneath the nose, just do little flicks. Not so much speckles on the face, just little flicks like this. It needs to be quite sharp. Let's get it a bit sharper so that it works better. Let's get it a bit sharper. That's it. I need a good... But I do know that that top end is going to break off. So let me just... I know that that's going to break straight away. Just get that. 
Right, that'll work. Okay, and you can you can just you can just flick through on the face like that. Just flick through and down the body, little flecks, like little tiny hairs. Okay, that's it. And if you're not sure what you've done, like like I'm gonna st I'm gonna hold my pencil there now, so I know that I've done everything above. Otherwise, I can't see where I've done. Having said that, though, if I hold it to the light like so, I can see where I've been, you know. You can hold it to the light and it will show you. But let's just do this. See what happens when we do this. So little tiny flicks all the way around on the outside. And what this will do is it will give us a bit of a resist. You watch. Right, little white f flicks. And um, that'd be nice. Just showing you, really, right along the top. Okay, I reckon that'll probably do. So once you add colour, should we do a bit in this ear as well? In this area, that'll do. Right, let me just hold it to the light so I can see what I've done. Hang on, let's have a look. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Now, because I know that whatever I do with my white, the first colour you lay down is going to be the issue, is going to be the, the key here. So we've done little flecks like that, little tiny hairs. Now I'm going to go from the top and I'm going to, it's it's like, hold the stippling. Come on you, Parchers, you know how to stipple. So you hold the pen or the, well, Parchers do it with a, with a needle tool, don't they? Dip, 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 dip. What we're going to do is hold the pencil. Now we've got our, our hairy little flicks. Now we're going to do dot, 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 and we're going to go through the same area again. But you hold your pencil upright, and then you, you dot. And you don't smash it, and you can be quite strategic. If you hold the pencil, the further down the pencil or shaft you hold it, the more control you've got. If you hold it up here, you're going to be bouncing all over the place. The more you hone in on the point, the more you can be specific where you put the point. Okay? And listen. There are no experts in this building. Most of the people doing this are going to be better than me. All I'm doing is, is showing you what I figured out. Yeah? I didn't do, I haven't got a degree in this. I did O-level art and that was, I set fire to me final piece. So that didn't go so well. <laughs> but I do like to experiment. Right, you ready? So go to the top again and then we'll start to dot, dot, dot. Up here, look. And because I'm holding the pencil there, I wonder if I go into that. There we go, that's better. See, so I can go. Dip, 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 dip. So that's going to be where his whiskers are. Do, do, do hairs have whiskers? I should have thought so. Right. But everywhere where you do this, you can be quite specific about where you're going. So you're going over all the other white work you did. That's it, just go backwards and forwards. Because this will give you a lovely texture in a minute when you go back over it with another colour. Just being... Okay. See, the other thing is, it's like we're saying at the moment, with all the unrest and all the tur turmoil in the world, you've got to get with your hands. Just do something, make something. Be constructive. Help somebody do something. Send out good energy. Here we go. And this kind of thing, at first glance you think, well, how's that going to help anybody? Well, I tell you what, it will help you because all the time you're concentrating on where that little white nib's going, that the white tip here, you can't, if you're like me, I can't think about something and do this accurately. I just cannot. So either I do this or I think about something else. To think about what's going on elsewhere, I've got to stop doing this, which I'm not going to do because I want to get this right. Right. Now, see, I've, I've avoided this area here, but now I think I'm going to put the white in the, in the middle, just in the middle, like that. So this is called stippling. 
And there's a whole art form around stippling. Because the closer the dots are together, I'm, I mean, not in white. Obviously, you can't see it really. Not yet, anyway. And then we'll do the ear as well in the middle. Um, the closer the dots are in stippling, of course, the darker it's going to get. If you were using a pencil, for example, a dark black pencil or a graphite pencil. So there's whole art forms just created out of dots, dot matrix. It's just dot, 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 dot. And if you get denser, you get more shade. If you open it up, it will be a bit lighter. It's quite nice, actually. I like dot. I like dot artwork. Dotty artwork. There's a lot of it around. It's nice. I'm going to put a little bit around his feet as well, the dots. There you go. Right, now, should we see what we've done? Should we see what we've done? So what we're going to do now is take a light colour. Do we want to go with a grey? What have I got here? This is going to be, this is, look at the slide for this, 231. <laughs> so I've got this little grey fella. Or I've got my warm grey, warm grey 2 or cold grey 2. So there's a difference. Well, of course there is. <laughs> Hang on, let me get a bit of paper or a card. Let me get a piece of card and let me show you. Hang on. So, so this is grey, cold grey. And this is warm grey. It's more brown, isn't it? This is browner and this is bluer, I think. So now it's choices, choices. I think I'm going to go with the cold grey for this one. I like, because of the colours that I've used in here, I think I'll go with the cold grey. So let's just start. You Use the side like this and use the side of the pencil. And let's just see what happens when we go in over the dots. Let's see what happens. We should start to see a kind of a texture appearing. Can you see it? The darker, yeah, here it comes, look. Hey, hey. And the darker the pencil, I mean, we're just going in now to see if we've actually got any white anyway. Let's have a look. The more you do, the more texture you'll get. If I go darker, let me just show you. If I go really, if I press a bit harder, then you'll see it. You see it? No, no. There. You see? So you've got that that texture there. So, so we've got a little tiny element of, let's go with that light grey now. Let's just put that light grey in place. That's it. So that we can see what we've got. Where's that light grey? That'll do. Right, there we are. Okay. On his foot. We can see where we're going. And a little bit on the, maybe there. Maybe not put any on the, maybe not put any on the, um, on the middle of the, the earpiece there. Because I, I want to keep that white there. Okay. But you can see how you get a resist, can't you? Okay. So you've got a resist there. The darker it gets, the more it happens. So now take the light grey one and do the same thing. Let's go again, right? But this time, let's go again and we'll go from the top and we'll use the same colour now, this light grey, and we'll make little tiny feathery marks. Hair. It's the hair on the hair. That's what we're doing. Right, so you need a sharp pencil again. And we're going to, from the top, let's go again. And let's just add another layer. Okay. And then, you see, this is the thing. Every, every time you put a darker pencil over a lighter pencil, it will act as a resist. The white's the obvious one. But even now, I'm pressing quite hard, if you like, and I'm going in maybe in between, maybe on the... If I go on the white, it won't, it won't take the white out. You'll see. Maybe go, go crosshatch. If you go across the white then you'll see it more. Instead of going straight, go left and right. You see? There you go. So this is pretty cool as well. 
<laughs> Nahid is singing, Hello, Mother. Hello, Father. Here I am in Cape Granada. Do you remember when we were doing that before? Oh, I remember Nahid. Yeah, that's so funny. Right, well, we're going to go, we'll go for that in a minute then. <laughs> so there we go. Left, right, left. Oh, now I've got that, it, I've got that song worm. Uh-oh. Hello, Mother. Hello, Father. Here I am in. Do you remember we were doing this? Da, 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 da. Here I am in Cape Granada. Da 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 da. That's what we did, wasn't it? We were playing guess that tune. Here we were. We were. That's exactly what we were doing, wasn't it? Guess that tune. All right, here's one. Right, you ready? Okay, because I'm going to go from the top to the bottom with his hair now. <laughs> okay, with this one. So we've done the white, and then we've gone this way and this way. You see how it's starting to look like hair on a hair or fur on a hair, can't you? See? Got to build it up. Build it up. Right. Sharpen your pencil, Gray, and then we'll go again. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna see if you can guess this tune. <laughs> you started this, Need. Right, you ready? Hang on. Okay, here we go. Um. Oh. If anybody tunes into this and think we've lost it. Come on, guesses. I need some guesses here. This isn't it. This isn't it. I need some guesses on that one first. Do you want to hear it again? <laughs> I can't even read it. Yeah, I can see it. I can see the answer. Let me just come in close. Hang on a minute. Yeah, somebody got it. When I get older, losing my hair, many years from now, will you still be sending me a valentine? <laughs> Birthday greetings, bottle of wine. If I get home at quarter to four, will you lock the door? Will you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm 64? Boom, boom. <laughs> I'm 63 on Sunday, did I tell you? <laughs> How did that happen? 63. Good Lord. Right. <laughs> Thanks for the memory, Nahid. <laughs> I'd completely forgotten that was what we did. That's how we got. That is exactly what we did to pass the time, to have some fun, didn't we? Do you remember? Cool. Young at heart. Age is only a number, Gray, that's for sure. No. Age is definitely only a number. It's a state of mind. Who's the youngest person in the room and who's the oldest person in the room? Does anyone want to start the ball rolling? Come on. The shack spans how many decades? That's what we want to find out. This looks really nice, you know. I better come in the picture, though. There you go. Well, I'm 63, so I'm probably going to be somewhere. No, I wouldn't say I'm at the high end. I bet I'm somewhere in the middle, huh? I reckon loads of us are this age, my age, in our 60s. Loads of us. I wonder who the youngest person is. Got any offers? Right, let's have a look. What else we got? Right, that's the that, so that's the the hair, the grey hair, no grey hairs. <laughs> there you go. Cool. Let's do a bit of 
just feathering. Pauline Margaret Stewart's birthday is today and Linda Jones is 67 today. So we got some birthday girls already today. Well, I'll be. Happy birthday, Linda, and happy birthday, Pauline. Come on, everybody in the room, I need to hear it. 170 of us shouting happy birthday. Happy birthday, Pauline, and happy birthday, Linda. Brilliant. There you go. We've got any more? We've got any more? Got some birthdays coming up. Well, I'm Sunday. Um, our, our whole family. Grace is the 23rd. Mark's April the 1st. He's he's um he's 30 this year. Can you believe it? Yeah. So there you go. So we've got our colour here. March is a big month for us. Laura, it's her birthday today. Laura, that's Dave's daughter. Many happy returns, Laura. Right, so you see how we've got our, our feathering. That's quite nice, isn't it? He looks quite... Um, mm, I like the way we've done that. You see, when you're, when you're shading, here you go. Let me show you. You've got different ways of shading. You can either, when you're shading, let me just get a pencil. Let me get it flat to start with. So when you're shading, you can either go circular like that. You can shade like that. See, and then you keep going over the same area, shading like that. See? Circular motions. So it's up to you if you want to shade like that. So you just keep going over the same area, circulatory, okay? Like that. And the more you go over the same area, the more pigment you apply, the darker it gets. If you hold the pencil a little bit further, these are just tricks and tips. It'll get lighter, because you've got less pressure on the pencil, on the nib, right? So that's called, it's just shading in a circular motion like that. Right, there you go. And then you've got feathering. We've done this so many times, but there's always, there's always room for Im improvement and for practice. So feathering is when we shade like that. And sometimes we, we combine, don't we? We do a bit of this, we do a bit of that. See, I could do that, and then I could go back over the top of the circular like that, see? And then we've got, so you do that in one direction. We can call that feathering or hatching, right? And then hatching is more lines, like lots of lines. So you do it, so you've got lines like that. And then you can do cross feathering or cross hatching. So with the flat, you see, you can go back over the, oh, hello, over the top like that. And you'll see you arrive at the same place except you're going diagonally across. See? So that's another way of color, shading, shading. And the cross hatching, really, it's just lines more than, more than, so with the lines, you get a different look. See? I'm using the line rather than the, the flat of a pencil. Do you see the difference? There you go. So you've got circular, got feathering, got hatching, got cross hatching. And then you've got, Hello, Mara. Hello, Fara. <laughs> Here I am in Cape Granada. Right, stippling. <laughs> and I think I like stippling, right, especially on when you want when you want um, texture like this. See, look. Now, I've done a bit of everything on there. I've done feathering, I've done hatching, I've done circular, I've done stippling. It's all going on. It's whether you want it smooth, whether you want lines, whether you want the cloudy effect. You see? Worth knowing. Ages ranging from 46 to 84, that's those who are, who are actually telling us. You see, I don't have a problem at all. Well, 46 to 84, 46 to 84. There you go. I'm bang in the middle. That's exactly where I like to be. Bang in the middle of the bed. Okay. That makes me feel good. So welcome 46-year-olds and 84-year-olds. Let's have a look. So let's have a look at the colour now. We've got the grey down on the hair. I'll tell you what we ought to do is probably create, don't forget the one at the back. 
because he's the same, isn't he? So should we just have a little recap? Come on then. Or do you want to do him for homework? Hmm? White, white first. That will give you the little, and then dots. <laughs> That's it. Don't rush it though, Gray. See? <clears throat> right. Take the light one. And let's see if we've got any. There's the texture. Cool. Comes up quickly when you do it. Right. Just want to make sure that this one doesn't get left behind and then we forget the sequence, see? There you go. That'll do. And then we'll take this one and we're going to go again, but we'll go across a little bit because it's further away. Probably want to do it a bit tighter. That'll do. There. I think when, I, when we finish today, I'm going to take my foot off the accelerator and just stop, you know, just stop. I have to say, I'll tell you what really helped yesterday, because yesterday was pretty intense at the TV. You know, you can imagine there was, n n n there was a total outage. There was like no, no, um, couldn't air, couldn't go to air. There, it was zero, nothing, no website. The server had crashed, right? And not just for us, Sainsbury's, um, Spotify, I mean, properly crashed in the, in the cloud. And so I was quite calm about it. I'm very good in a crisis, you know. I had a plan. I had a plan B. I said that if it didn't come before 6 o'clock, we might consider pulling the show um, and then wrapping that beautiful collection by Linda. I'd already spoken to Linda so that she wasn't disappointed, you know, and I said I'd rather wrap that TV show in cotton wool and put it carefully with all, you know, I know it would be a calamity, certainly financially, but I said it'd be better to put it to one side and wait until all the gremlins, until it's all sorted and then launch it properly and do it for proper, you know, justice. And, um, and I was very calm on the outside, you know, they were great really given the circumstances. And then I sat, I was sitting in a room on my own after we'd, we'd, we'd decided that that was what we were going to do. We were going to pretend that it was going to happen at six o'clock so that if we went live, we were ready to go, right? But if we couldn't get any kind of signal at all and the website was still down, then we were going to go to, to repeat and, uh, and just pack it all away. We, we all had a lot of acceptance around it. That's what we were going to do. And then... Um, I sat in the room and I thought, fine. And I put my little Apple ear pods in and I listened to some beautiful piano jazz that my son, Mark, he sends me playlists on Spotify. And I just listened to this wonderful piano music. And, and, and especially because it's in your, in your head, because it's in the ear pods, you know, the little Apple pods. I put them in because obviously there were people running around everywhere. They didn't want to be listening to jazz music. But it was the piano music. And I can't tell you how I hadn't realized how, you know, you don't, even though I was, I was faking it to make it and being really calm and you don't realize how subconsciously you're freaking out. And as soon as I put this music, this beautiful jazz piano music into my, into my ears, I just, it was, too, I can't explain how it just hit the spot. It was wonderful. You know, so I'm just suggesting, I don't know if you, if you are techie like that, maybe you don't need to put it in. I had to put it in my ears because there was a lot of action around me, but um, maybe you don't need the ear pods, but soft jazz piano music certainly calms the soul. That's all I can tell you. It worked for me yesterday. It was it was palpable, the difference. I hadn't realized how uptight I was until it was like taking when I used to drink, you know, it was that it was that it was like taking a hit of 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 alcohol. How it you know, like when you when you drink a glass of wine and it just goes, Whoa. you know, I, I mean I haven't drunk for 
over 20 years, but it was like that. It, that music just, it just took the edge right off. And I don't think it was just about the TV and about whether we air or not. You know, it was, uh, there's a lot more going on, as we know, than that. That was just what was happening in my little, in my little world yesterday, you know. Um, but of course, subconsciously, you're taking on everything else, all the other layers and Ukraine and, and you know, not letting people into the country. And all those layers of news are just stacking up on top. It's just layer on layer on layer on layer of shit, you know. And, and I couldn't believe how effective that soft music in my ears was. Abs uh, unbelievable. I haven't used music as a, um, I haven't used music as a, as a relaxant. Does that, does that, sound, that sounds like a laxative. <laughs> you know what I mean? I haven't used music as a, a de-stressor or a, a relaxant. I'm going to use that word um, for a long time. I was used to, um, but I'm, I was blown away by how effective it was. You know, don't know why I haven't used music for so long. But yesterday it was just I wanted to switch off from everybody around me just for a minute, you know, and it was marvellous, absolutely marvellous. So, um, so yeah, worth considering that one was. Let's do a bit more shading. Yeah, nice. Do you know what I think I want to do now is I'll, I've got the cold grey down, but I think cause it's right. I want to introduce a little bit of a warmer colour. So what about, I'm just looking here, I think I might take that warm grey too, you know, gently does it, gently does it, this colour, the warm beige, I love it, I don't think it's called beige, I just call it boring beige, don't I, <laughs> it's a fabulous colour. Let's add, let's see if we could, let's add some shade with the brown, with, the, yeah, here we go, so in the ear, Let's do a bit of feathering with this lighter colour. Because we're pressing, see, we're going gently. So we're just adding layer on layer of colour. And as we do this, let's just do that here and I'll show you what happens. You'll start to see the texture. Let's see if you can see this. Let's come up close. Let's see if you can see the texture on the hair's ear. Oh, hang on. Let me take two hands to this. Sorry. Make you feel seasick. Can you see what I'm doing? And just by introducing a little bit of that warm grey, see the colour changes completely on that, on the hair. It's interesting, isn't it? I think we ought to do the eye as well, because the eye is the, the soul of the animal. But let's just do the let's do the ear area. So we're feathering from the top, and you can see now where you've stippled effectively. There you go. For the resist, I didn't do much in that area, did I? I think I did it more in the centre. Right, this is going to look nice. What's about with this one here? Let's do a little bit of that grey feathering. So it's a soft colour, isn't it? It's lovely. I don't even know what these little bits are, but it's all right. Colour them in. It's art. Let's do a bit of depth around there. Yeah, so I was thinking about that and I thought, blimey, you know, I remember years ago, I, I always had music on. Always. I wonder why, I wonder when I stopped using music. I do like it. I don't know. I like dancing. Who likes dancing? You like dancing? Now, let's have a look. Have we got a creamy colour? Have you got a creamy colour? Cream's good. Yeah, cream. Let's do a bit of cream to change up the colour again of the white. Look, see how that tones that down? It's good, isn't it? You can really see the colours changing. And this tones, this tones it right into the background as well. 
this cream colour. It's like almost like a yellow, really, like a yeah, nice. So so see the circular now. I'm doing that circular motion. Let's get that colour going. Just another layer, see? And wherever you haven't hit the white card with anything yet, this will take, this will fill it, which is quite nice. Right, so we've got a bit of yellow now. Cool, cool. It's all right, we're going in with a darker colour in a minute, but you've got to get the base down, see? Make sure that you've got the base colours down before you start. It's experimenting anyway. Like, do you actually think I know what I'm doing? <laughs> I do, I do, I do. I did that, I did that, I did that. If I did that, I could do this, all right? <laughs> I'll tell you what is brilliant is the little tiny dots now. Let's see, what colour did she use? Raw umber and Dick Brown. <laughs> Dick Van Dyke Brown. Raw umber. What have I got here? Ah, not Dick Van, yeah. Van Dick Brown, not Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> Van Dick Brown. I mean, who comes up with these names? Van Dick. He's obviously a Dutch bloke. Right, so that's the Van Dick Brown. But what was the other one I used? Have you got a Van Dick Brown? And a raw umber. Raw umber. That's a little bit, that's a little bit more coffee coloured. Am I gonna have to go in my burnt sienna? No, I'm going, I'm gonna be anal now. If I've got it, I'm gonna use it. Where are my per polychromos? Oh, hello. Van. Have I got a raw rumber? Oh, I should have done this before we started, really. Burnt ochre. Yeah. Raw rumber. Do you know what? That's going to have to do then. I think we're going with the, burnt, the raw rumber. I can't find the other one now. It's all right. If you could see the state of this room, the state of this little creative hub here, it is a shambles. I've got one TV show on, on the next one, on the next one, on the next one, and I'm just scrambling at the moment. Lorraine asks, if you stop listening to music when you start listening to audio books. Um, did I? Possibly. Possibly, Lorraine. Possibly, Lorraine. Oh, yeah, no, that's a good colour. There you go, that'll work. So we've got those colours now to, to use. We're going more for the browns. And then, I, I, but I do want to do the eye. So I would suggest that with the eye, you've got to decide, is he looking that way or is he looking this way? Let's put, let's just put a dot in the middle. Just put a dot in the middle so you know which... So you can decide now. You can go both ways. You could either go up or down. Let's go. Let's put a line there, right? And let's fill it a bit. Right, now, at the moment, he doesn't really, because it's bang in the middle, He's he could be looking either way, okay? If you were to move this down this way, he's going to start looking at you. He's going to do a Mona Lisa on you. If you push it that way, so I think we leave it in the middle, like that. That'll do. That's easy. Hey, let's just, yeah. And what we'll do is we'll make a little bit of a dreamy lid because he's a whimsy hair. So we'll just soften that lid. There you go. Soften the lid. There you go, inside the line. That tones it down. See, and then he doesn't look so intense. He doesn't look like he's being chased by the... Chased by the man with a gun. Hey? There. And the nose. But what we'll do with the nose, we'll leave, we'll leave a little tiny bit of white where the light is hitting it. Like that. So just bring that grey in. What grey am I using? 
Ah, ich weiß nicht. Warm grey five. First one I had to hand. So I'm just leaving a little bit of white. See where the... Just like that. There you go. Nice. That'll do. Now, while we've got that grey, I want you to do this. I'm going to use the stippling trick now to get some shadow in. Here we go. So you use a little bit of feathering. So it's a combination job, see? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Funny enough, when I'm doing pottery, I actually, I have been, yeah, but it's a double whammy, see? When I'm doing pottery, it's, that's, I'm doing pottery for clearing the head anyway. So to add music to it is just luxury, you see. The, the music doesn't have the same impact because the potter is already doing the job, the calming job, right? The relaxant. I've got, I'm going to have to look that up. I don't know if that's a word. You understand what I mean though, right? <laughs> so this is it now. You can use greys. Greys. I love grey colour. I love all the greys, really. Right. So you can use greys to stipple, to get shadow, or to feather. Oh, I love doing this. And then you just stipple. And what happens is, you see, you've still got that, that, that lovely texture underneath. So this is going to be this leaf that I haven't done yet. Have you done your leaves already? I've been a bit busy. I know. I've got some lovely, lovely cards. You're so kind. I've received so many beautiful cards and presents. Some are still at the office. I haven't been able to pick them up yet, but I've been told there's a big pile on my desk. Isn't that lovely? And some of them are here already. Dave brought them home. So I want to show you a couple of... See how you can... You build, friends. You build your shade. You build your texture. Do you worry that it takes a long time, this stuff? It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me at all how long it takes. I, it's not even, I don't even have to worry about project completion. For me, it's not even about completing the project. You know, look, I never completed the project. To, but, I, but I thoroughly enjoyed the process. So that means I could pick this up, especially if I've written on the back what colours I used. I could pick this up. So I must do that as well on here. I must take all my pencils, you see. I've got to take all my pencils. And on the back here in the corner, I just need to write what colours I've used. Really, really important if you haven't finished your project. You know, as you're using your, your colours, top tip, just... Give yourself a key, really, isn't it? It's just giving yourself a key. I'm going to enjoy finishing this. But I think we're running out of time now. Cool, I could do this all day. Not going to, though. I'm going to go and find a cat that's poorly, see what's wrong with Ragnar. And on that note, oh, I've got to show you, right, so, right, so this little, this, this, we've been doing this for two weeks now. What do we think about, um, what's, what's Monday? We're together Monday, now Thursday, okay, I have a plan, here's a suggestion. You can work on this over the weekend, right, and then on Monday we'll complete it, because on Thursday... I've got to go back up to TV land and I'm doing the Pergamano shows. So that means that we won't be able to meet next Thursday because I've got, I'm in the driver's seat at the telly. But that's okay because um, we can, what we could do then is we could finish this on Monday and then that gives me a week to think about what we're going to do 
when we start again next the following Monday. Does that sound okay? And then that way I could spend a little bit of time doing this. So I really want to finish this. I, I think this is going to be su superb. So today's just been a revision about the different kinds of shading tricks with the circular or the feathering or the hatching or the cross hatching. And the... Hello, mother. Hello, father. And now I want to show you some presents and some cards from our friends, right? These aren't all of them. Um, so don't be offended if I haven't got yours here. But I just wanted to show you some of the lovely artwork that um, I've received. So let me come out a little bit. Let me pan out and then I'll show you some of the lovely cards that I've received. And you know the, the sunflower stamps and plates? I think we've sold over 500. The last time I looked, we'd sold over 500 stamps sets. That's a lot of money to send to the Red Cross. I'll sort that out tomorrow. Right, here we go. Happy birthday. Isn't that lovely? With one of our dies. And this is from Janet. Thank you so much, Janet. Isn't it lovely? This is a gorgeous one. This is uh, embroidery. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Liz Johnson, wishing you a birthday full of love and laughter. Thank you, Liz. Isn't that gorgeous? Handmade by Liz. Beautiful. This is a lovely one. Oh, happy day. You are my Shiro. Lovely ginkgo. And look at the little bees. Look with the, um, so creative. And a drop shadow. This is the, uh, really nice. And breach. A heart is happiest when it beats for others. Ah, oh, that's lovely. Isn't that so nice? Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Anne. This is great. Mates, love it. Liz, every little thing you do is magic. To Barbara, may all your birthday wishes come true. Thank you, Liz. Thank you very much. And thank you for the letter. This is a lovely one. I like this one. Cuts right across. Look at that. What a masterpiece. Isn't that super? With Annie's stamps. Beautiful. Beautiful. Debbie McMullen. Happy birthday. Thank you, Debbie. You're a good egg. Isn't that a piece of lovely stencil in the background as well? Really lovely. Right, here's another one. Do you mind me showing you these? I think you, you enjoy this, don't you? This is lovely. I love this. The Earth has music for those who listen. That's one of our three-way overlay stamps. Myra Sanders. Thank you, Myra. Thank you, Myra. And thank you for the wonderful gift as well. Fabulous. And then we've got one. This is from Sheila. Sheila Bradley and my brother, Sheila and Steve. Have a lovely day. Isn't that gorgeous? She's the design team. Look at that. One of those layout plates. Isn't that pretty? So much work. Look, and then she's wrapped. So on the side, look, you see, you've got the, isn't that clever? Thanks, Sheila. This is gorgeous. Layout stamp with the ginkgo inside. Isn't that great? Look at it. The cats and the windmill and the rose. A bit of doodling. Absolutely gorgeous. Linda, thank you for all the hours I have spent with you. I have laughed, cried, forgotten, learnt, and enjoyed every one of them. Ah, thank you, Linda. Happy birthday to you. I love this stamp. I love this one. That's a designer paper, isn't it, in the background with a doodle. Isn't that a nice composition? Sue Carpenter, three years ago at the NEC. Good God, Sue, how time flies. Yeah, my hair was longer there as well. And I was about two stone lighter. <laughs> Still got that top though. Thank you for all the shack sessions. Oh, my pleasure, Sue. My pleasure. And, um, and then I got a beautiful card um, from Germany. Marion, du bist die Beste. Look at this. Isn't that fabulous? Look, so creative. So beautiful. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Danke, danke, danke dir. And then, ja, 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 Niederreger, besser geht's nicht. Und ein Buch dazu. Mm, ich bin verwöhnt. Thank you very, very much, Marion. And then, this was so lovely. So I thought, what could this be? And I got this lovely little package. This is going to make you smile. And it's okay to smile. Look, just a note, really pretty. 
Let's have a look. What does it say? Chris Plaxton. Okay. Thank you so much, Chris, for the beautiful card. And look. <laughs> look, look, look. Look at these coasters. How about that? Aren't they fantastic? Look. Growing up. Rink it. So it's that way. They go from that size to that size. These are these are Ragnar and Eric. Ragnar and Eric. I can tell now. Ragnar has got a whiter snout. Do you know I could never tell that before? Ragnar, Eric. Ragnar. They're identical. Ragnar, Eric. Oh no, he's they're smaller there. So it goes like that. And then that's just a cat with attitude sitting in one of my lovely bowls. Thank you so, so much, Chris. What a gift. Isn't that so lovely? Dave and I hooted when I found these. Thank you. And I know I shouldn't have opened them till Sunday, but I wanted to share and I want, I can't, I can't, I can't keep secrets like that when there are cards. I want to enjoy them when they're there and I shall enjoy these immensely and the chocolates and the books and the gifts and all the loveliness from, it's very, very kind. I feel very spoiled. Um, not necessary, but greatly appreciated. So there you go. It's 11 o'clock and I think we'll call it a day. What else did I want to tell you? Um, dum, dum, dum. Yeah, I will see you. Don't forget, Paul's on at two o'clock, stock permitting. We really are running low on stock. We've had a really good show. But then when you look at the artwork that Linda's created, it's spectacular. So, um, so if you're into your groovy, then definitely check out these flowers and lace plates, part three. Um, and other than that, happy birthday to anybody who's having a birthday. Um, we'll be celebrating. What are we doing? I'm going to mum and dad's tomorrow. Fresh cream cake in the, in, the, in the oven, in the fridge already. So I go see mum and dad tomorrow. And then Saturday, we're hanging out with Laura because it's her birthday today. And then Sunday, what am I doing Sunday? Ah, oh, I'm going to pottery. I said to Dave, is it okay? I haven't been for a couple of weeks. And he said, of course. And then he's going to take me for a nice meal. It's a surprise. I don't know where we're going. So that'd be nice. So it's pottery in the morning. Pottery in the morning. And then he's going to pick me up and take me somewhere for lunch. I can't think of a better thing to do. Oh, and then the last thing I want to show you is... We're going to put it on the website for you because it's coming up. And Jazz designed it at work and I looked at these two and I, I looked at this and I said make one for mom as well because we have lots of American friends too and sometimes um, these these particular uh, stamps when you have a look look these are two a set of stamps home is where your mum is I absolutely think so too and home is where your mom is right so that's worth considering uh, but we've got this beautiful pair of stamps and it it's so lovely, um, so lovely, so many little assets. So we've got home is where your mum is and home is where your mom is. So that's on the website, right? And as far as birthdays go, right, we will celebrate and we will start because it's my birthday and it's every, lots of birthdays. And we're going to have a bit of a birthday bash this weekend. So so keep checking back. Um, we will, we're just holding it back at the moment because we've got lots of orders to get out and we don't want to overwhelm the good people at, at Clarity. You know, they're peddling. They're peddling hard at the moment, getting orders out. So um, so keep your eyes. Keep your eyes peeled, friends because uh, we're going to have a bit of a birthday bash and it starts tomorrow, okay? And it will run all the way over the weekend. So bear with us. Keep your eyes posted. Uh, keep your eyes posted. Keep keep posting. Keep looking. And let's have a birthday celebration because um, I, don't, I don't feel like 63. In my head, I'm still 30. I really am. I don't know. I don't know where the last 33 years went, but in my head, I'm still 30, like my lad now. And and if you if you fancy these these um, stamps, what I love about these is um, 
home is where your mum is. And it's interesting that my kids, they say, they always say this to me, you know, I'm coming home for Christmas, even though they've lived abroad for so many years, this is still home for them, you know. And when I go and see my mum and dad, it's like I'm going home. It's funny, isn't it? Anyway, so they're on the website. And even if you, you know, even if your mum isn't with us anymore, if you're a mum, then you get this, don't you? You know, you understand the, the, the sentiment behind it. So there you go. They're on the website. Plenty of time for Mother's Day. And, uh, and don't forget to check back to see what the birthday bash is about. Jilly, thank you so much for your help. Have a fabulous weekend. I'm going to take my foot off the pedal now. Go and have a cup of tea and go and find that poorly cat. Lots of love and thank you again for everything. Bye-bye now.